third coronavirus death has been confirmed by the state health department tonight. The victim was from central Arkansas. Right now, there are 349 confirmed cases of the virus. 42 of those are in nursing homes and two more counties were added to the list today. Lone Oak and Randolph. There have been 19 recoveries so far. Our Rochelle Turner was at today's briefing with the governor. She joins us now with more. Rochelle. Well, Ashley, good evening to you. The state of Arkansas is doing something that not many other states are doing during this COVID-19 pandemic. Today, health leaders are thanking the governor for proposing a multi-million dollar plan that's going to help those who are fighting to keep people safe during COVID-19. On Thursday, the health department says 13 people have recovered from COVID-19. One of the more promising approaches to treating critically ill patients with COVID-19 is to give them plasma from those who have recovered because it has antibodies that can fight the virus. Governor Asa Hutchinson announced an initiative that will bring help to those working on the front lines. This plan will provide improved access to care for Arkansas citizens and will keep the doors of Arkansas's health care providers open and their workforce employed. He proposed a more than $116 million plan that includes capital improvements to health agencies for drive-through test sites and financial support for workforce safety. It also includes expansion of telemedicine and medical transportation to keep patients connected to their medical care and more money for nurses. Additional payments to support nurses. This will be an additional $1,000 a month, $250 a week for non-physician direct care workers, primarily nurses, and $2,000 a month for non-physician direct care workers who are in a facility treating COVID-19 patients. There's also a plan for foster care parents. So recognizing they have additional burdens on themselves because daycare is not happening in some areas. They are having to take care of the kids. They are having to do other things. We are going to uh, provide an additional payment to them each month of $500. Health leaders ensuring more PPE equipment is on the way for hospitals and staff. Include 3 million N95 masks. 4 million surgical masks, 4 million disposable gowns, uh, 2.1 million face shields, and 7 million gloves. Uh the governor also proposing a $5 million plan that's going to help the homeless population. As far as the proposal, he's waiting on approval. For more information on COVID-19, you can visit our website. It's krk.com. For now, reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Rochelle Turner. Back to you. All right, a busy day, Rochelle. Thanks very much. Long